And here is uh, uh, the formula for the area rectangle and area of a parallelogram. The area rectangle uh, of a length B and width H has area A given by the formula area is equal base times height. And similar for the area of a parallelogram, they still have a base times height. So they both have the same formula. And then why? Have you ever thought about this question? Why? Why they have the same formula? All right. If you want to take a look next one, you can see, you know, area of a rectangle is like this, is a base times high. Area parallelogram is like this, is also base times high. And then if you look, if I, the area parallelogram, I cut this triangle, all right, and move over here. What did you see? What did you see? If I move this triangle to over here, what did you see? I make a, this parallelogram as what? As a rectangle. So therefore, they are all the same uh, formula, right? So uh, area of a rectangle and area of a parallelogram is the same formula, which is base times height, all right? Now, next, take a look for the next one. Area of a triangle. I think so many of you uh, remember the area of triangle is one half base times height. Have you ever thought of wh about why? Why it is base times height? Why it is one half? Why it is one half? Look, one half. And since we know the area of parallelogram or area of a rectangle is a base times high, so therefore, if you if we cut in half, what did you see? It's a, it's a triangle, right? So therefore, that's why we have one half, right? That's why we have one half here, right? So, uh, so area of triangle is one half base times height, okay? Now what about area of a trapezoid? Now area of a trapezoid, this is a trapezoid. This is a trapezoid, all right? And then therefore, you know, this is a trapezoid. All right, this is a trapezoid. And then therefore, you know, if I cut in, you know, I make a line like EG like this, what did you see? You can see two triangles, right? And this is a triangle, I would say triangle one, and here's triangle two, all right? Now, two triangle, all right? So area of trapezoid, you know, actually we'll have to learn by reasoning instead of uh, um, memorize the formula. So we learn by the reasoning. So for first triangle, we actually is one here, Base, what's the base for this one? Base is a base one, right? And then heights for this, all right? So this area is one head base one times base height. So I'm gonna give a two different color for this one, all right? So now the blue one, you can see one head base two and times height. And then it together, and then this is one half base one times high plus one, one half base two times high, all right? So which is equal uh, area of a trapezoid, right? And then most of textbook, they use this one, all right? I think that this is a, they basically just factor out the two, one half, one half and then edge and make it like this. So they, they make it as one hair base one plus two plus base two and times high, all right? 
Okay, so now uh, we have a formula. Now here is a, a couple problem for you to do. So here you can see the problem here. The first one is a rectangle, right? So we're gonna apply for this. This is a base, this is a height. All right, you can take a base times height, you can get an answer, right? Similar for this one, which one is a height? 331.4 or 30 is a height, which one is a height? I will tell you 30 millimeter will be the height because this is the 90 degree, right? The 90 degree here tell you the hint. This is a height, okay? Not this one, okay? So you can take, take a base and time height and find the answer for this, all right? And what about this one, all right? Now triangle, we can have one half base times, one half base and times high, base will be, base will be this, and high, okay, now high will be 22, all right? So high the 22 and base is 80, all right? Okay, finding out answer for this. And then this, uh, trapezoid. Now here we have, uh, uh, one half base one times high plus one half base two times high. So we have a base one like this, and we have base two type this, all right? And then we have a height. So height is a three point, a 35.5 or 30, which one? The answer will be 30, all right? 30 millimeter because the height is here. Here tell you here, I, here is the height, okay? This is not a height, this is not a height, okay? So here I give you a minute uh, to check your answer, okay? For this problem, okay? All right. Give it Okay, so you can practice at home, okay? Practice at home, finding out the area, all right? Now here is a kind of a, a more advanced problem, challenge, you know, more advanced problem. You have uh, this triangle, you have this triangle, all right? And then you have a 10 for the base, you have a seven for the heights, and we wanna find what the V is, all right? We want to find out V is, right? And then we have 14 for another base. So we can think about this. Uh, the area of, uh, the area, area of a triang triangle is one half base times height, all right? So therefore, one half, what's the base? So we can use 10 as a base. What's the high? Seven is a high, right? So therefore, the area is what? One half times 30, 70. And so therefore, we got the 35, right? 35 centimeter square. 35 centimeter square, all right? So 35 centimeter square for what? This this area. This area is 35 centimeter square, right? Now, if I rotate, rotate, I'm gonna rotate. Rotate like this. I'm gonna rotate like this. I'm gonna rotate like this. This is a 14. And then this is a 10. And then this is a V, right? Now, look, if I rotate a triangle like this, what did you see? I change, the base is 14, and height is a V, right? But the area is the same. Whatever you rotate, you know, the area is still the same, right? So therefore, 35 equal 
seven V, right? So V actually is a five centimeter. Does that make sense to you? All right. Now next problem is just we can do the similar way for this problem. All right. I'm gonna give you a cup um, a minute to think about this problem. All right. And then we can do this problem together. All right. Okay, now let's work together, work together. The area of the, this uh, triangle, right? One half base times height. So therefore one half what? 15 for the base. Height would be 12. So the answer would be uh, 90. Okay, so 90 is what? 90 inch square. 90 inch square is this area, all right? So keep in mind it's 90 inches for this area. So 90 inches for this area, 90 inches square for this area, which is equal. Now this time I'm gonna rotate one half base. Now I'm gonna change base is W. Now this time height is which one? 10 or 12? 10 or 12? 12 is the high for 15, right? So therefore, we're gonna change this as a 10, right? So therefore, how we find W, which is the uh, 10 W, which is a 5 W, right? 90 equal 5 W. So W divided by 5 divided by 5, eight. divided by 5 for both, right? So therefore W is 18. 18 what? Don't forget about the units. 18 inch, right? So here, this is 18 inch, all right? Here is a problem, you know, you can practice at home. Now here is another problem like this. And then uh, this is one of the uh, problem from the textbook, right? US textbook. And then if you want to find it now, the area of the, the, like this, and what should we do? So basically, you will apply, see here, this is what? This is what? This is the trapezoid, right? And then this is what? This is a rectangle, right? So therefore, we're gonna take uh, the area of a trapezoid. Now area of trapezoid is equal one half, base is, uh, base one is five, base two is 18. So it is 18 here, so this is 18 here, right? And then times high, high is a three, all right? So add together, you're supposed to get uh, uh, so this would, uh, you know, uh, this would be it together, and uh, you have twenty-three. All right, over two times three. All right, so therefore you're supposed to get uh, 34.5, right? 34.5 for this. So 34.5 for this area. Okay, now what about next? Uh, we have, uh, up next with this is uh, eight, times 18, right? Eight times 18, which is equal 
144, right? 144. So uh, you add together, add together, or oh, actually it's 30, you know, 34.5 for here. And then add together, we're supposed to get 178.5, okay? Next problem, uh, like this. Actually, you can solve for the problem. You can cut in half, all right? And then you find out the area, one triangle, and then find out a triangle, another triangle, and add together, you're supposed to get the answer, all right? So the area like this, you can uh, find out the answer you know, by doing cut in half, you know, so problem something like this is making cut in half, right? You can do it at home. All right, so now here is a pick theorem. Pick theorem, uh, you have uh, uh, interior point plus boundary divided by two minus one, okay? So number of interior point, and then you count the number of boundary point, all right? So this is how we would do for this, okay, this problem. So what's the interior point? We have uh, one, two, three, and four, right? So this is the interior point, one, two, three, and four, right? So we have a four interior point, and we're gonna pass one, two, three, four, five. So five out of a two divided by two and then minus one, right? So therefore we have a four plus 2.5 minus one, which is equal 6.5 minus one is 5.5. So this has an area, you know, 5.5 area, okay? Now here is a, uh, some problem you can practice at home. Okay, maybe I will do the first one for you. Let's do this one, okay? Let's do this one. I'll do this one, so therefore, uh, since we have I plus B divided by two minus one, okay? So I, interior point. So how many I there? How many are there? So we will count. One, two, three, four, and five. So five would be the I. What's about B? B will be one, two, three, four, and five. Five out of divided two minus one. So five plus 2.5 minus one, which is a, a 7.5 minus one. So the answer will be 6.5 unit square, right? 6.5 unit square, okay? And then you can do the rest of a problem at home, okay? And next, you know, again, you can do the same problem like this at home. And this problem is same problem like this at home, right? And then here, uh, the next we're gonna talk about the definition of a pi. Uh, the ratio of a circumference, all right, C to the diameter D of a circle is a pi. So pi actually, you take a circumference and you divide it by a diameter, right? Circumference, and you can find a pi, okay? Now, how we find circumference? Since it, since pi equals circumference equal d uh, uh, circumference, since uh, pi is equal circumference over diameter, so you can think about this. How we find the circumference? You times d for both. You times d for both. So therefore, 
we can find it out. Circumference is a D, right? Times of pi, right? And then what's the D mean? D, a diameter is like this, right? And then radius is this. And then D is a whole thing. And then diameter is, is like this, right? Uh, radius is like this, right? And then therefore, D actually is uh, 2R, right, 2R, 2R pi. So sometimes the textbook will say circumference equal to pi R, it's just like this, right? All right, so now uh, here's another picture for you to show, show you the circumference. This is a circumference. This is a circumference, all right? And then this is a uh, radius is R, all right? And then diameter, diameter is like this, the whole thing is like this. This is a diameter. This is a diameter, right? This is a diameter, right? The whole thing like this is a diameter, right? All right, so now uh, this is a two pi R, circumference is two pi R, right? Now, what is the circumference of a circle having a diameter of a uh, ten centimeter of the nearest tens of a a c centimeter? So uh, we take a ten times a pi. All right, we take a what? Because this is a diameter. Diameter times a d pi. Right. So therefore. Is equal to ten times three point one four, with the answer be thirty one point four centimeter. Okay, you can do the next problem by yourself. Okay, home. Now, area of circle. What is the area of circle? The area of circle is pi r square. So now I want to answer you the question: Why the area of circle is pi r square? All right. We have to learn it by the reasoning instead of by the form, by memorize the formula, okay? Now, take a look at this picture, right? Take a look at this picture. So we want to answer the question why, why, the area of the why the area of a circle is equal pi r square, right? So we want to end this uh, this question. Why? Why the area of circle is equal pi r square? Okay. So now, if you want to take a look at this uh, uh, circle. And I will, you know, divide it by a pieces like this, right? A pieces like this. And then this is uh, the radius, right? Now remember, we talk about uh, area. Now we talk about the uh, circumference, h equal. Uh, We talk about circumference actually is, you know, back to here. Remember that we talk about the definition here, you know, circumference equal diameter times pi, diameter times pi, right? And then because we know the pi is equal to circumference divided by diameter. So C equal D times pi, all right? So we go back to here. All right. So circumference, this is a, this is a, this is a circumference. 
all right? And this is the diameter. Diameter actually we can, diameter actually is a two ray, two R, right? So we also can say it's circumference is equal to pi r or two r pi, okay? Two pi r, right? Okay. So now the whole thing here is two pi r, right? Now what about if I have a half of this? Circumference is equal to two pi r, right? Now, if I have a half, half a circumference, what it is? Half a circumference, can we say this is a pi r, yes or no? All right, and in the other half is a pi r, yes or no? Yes, all right. So therefore, from here to there is a pi r, right? So now, we rearrange all right, rearrange the circle like this, circle like this, we arrange like this. So therefore, underneath here, one, two, three, four. You know, since this is a pi r, so this is a pi r, pi r, right? So therefore, we have, once we re rearrange, did we have a pi r for, for the base, right? And then if this is, here we only cut how many pieces? We only cut eight pieces. Now if we cut infinity, we cut infinity, you know, you will get the parallel, right? You got a parallel. Remember that the area of a parallel is a base times a high, is that right? Right? So therefore we cut infinity. So B, actually what's the B? B is a pi R. And then what's the R? What's the height? Height will be this. So therefore we answer the question. Area of a circle is a pi R squared. All right. Now here is a couple of problems you can practice at home. And then uh, we want to do a uh, parameter, okay? Now, what is the parameter? Parameter is the length of a simple closed plane curve is called its parameter. And the parameter of polygon in the sum of length of all its sides, all right? So here is a problem uh, we can do, all right? What is the parameter of a square? What is the parameter of square having side length 74 centimeter? All right. Let's see, I have a paste space. 74. This is square 74, 74, right? So parameter. Is equal 74 times 4. So therefore, 296 centimeter or centimeter square. No, this time we're not using centimeter square because we are not counting any square. We are counting the lens, right? We're counting the lens, right? Not centimeter square, it's a centimeter, okay? Because it's parameter, right? Now, next problem, what is the param uh, parameter of a rectangle having the side in 3.4 centimeter and 8.2 centimeter, right? So therefore, here is a rectangle, and then we have 8.2 here, and we have a 3.4 centimeter, all right? Yes, all right. So uh, in order to find a parameter, we take a 8.2, we have diff different way we can do, right? We can take 8.2 plus 3.4 and times two, okay? So we will get the answer, you know, 23.2, uh, right? 
or you want to just you know add uh, it's you want to add uh, eight point two three point four eight point two and three point four it together and you still get the answer oh don't forget about the unit it's a centimeter a centimeter square okay and then next uh you want to take a minute to do this problem to finding out the uh, parameter, right? Finding out what's the parameter is. So one, one, once you want to find out the parameter, you have to find out the missing information here, okay? So we got A, we got an A here, we got a seven here, we got two here, we got four here, we got 10, we got four, we got three here, but we don't have anything for here, right? Let's say we go by centimeter, okay? Let's say this is three centimeter, four centimeter, and so on. They're all six centimeter, all right? So what about in missing information here? How we find? Since this is a seven, this is a seven, this is a four, all right? So seven plus four. So therefore, will be the total here will be 11, right? 11, 11. Now we can find this is a this is a eleven. The length, the total here is eleven, and then this is a three, right? So we take eleven minus three. So therefore, this part will be equal how many? And we will get the eight for this. Got the eight for this. Did you get it? Right, this is a seven. This is a four. It together would be eleven, right? So this is a three, and we don't know how many for this. So they will take eleven minus three. So the fourth is seven. All right. So now, uh, to find it now, to find it now, the uh, parameter. All right now we can add all the information together all right all right so uh you can do by the order or you want to you know you take a you take a uh you can do by the order since this is eight all right so let's do uh, A plus seven plus two plus four plus ten plus A plus four plus three. All right, double check again. A seven two four ten A four and three all right so add it all together would be 46 46 centimeter all right so here uh is the uh, the lesson for today and then if you have any questions uh you can just send me by email i, I will answer you I, I hope you enjoy uh, this video tape, right? And have a nice day. Thank you.